Hello YouTube, welcome to our secret lair. Um, this is where we perform our little magic. As you can see, we have a bunch of Nissan Leaf batteries. Um, we're trying to balance them before we try to install them. We recognize that they are not balanced. Um, we have the impression they'll be balanced, but they're not. So we're balancing them. We're using this to balance. And as you see, um, I think that has been balanced. That's waiting to be balanced. And you could see our trusty young IT students, interns, um, running a bunch of BMSs to try to balance those additional batteries. And you can see they're writing down the results that they find. The trusty multimeter, our cheap, inexpensive BMSs. We have additional Nissan Leaf batteries waiting to go out, and this is connected to the BMS as well. So back to our batteries. As you see, I'm running to my LG Cam, higher voltage, and our Nissan Leaf. Um, we're running Nissan Leaf through a different BMS, and this BMS has a let me see if I turn the display on. So this BMS has a display and it's amazing what you can do with this. Once you get the setting right, it tracks the voltage of the MOSFET, it tracks the voltage of the uh, balancer, sorry, the temperature, sorry, of the MOSFETs and the balancer, it tracks the individual cell voltages, it tells you what the highest one is, and it tells you what the lowest one is. It tells you what the variance in, temp in voltage is. It also t shows you what's coming in and what's going out. Right now, we're not able to make it charge. We're only able to make it discharge, but we'll see we have our charge connected directly to our bus bar, which is running our, which is coming from our charge controllers. We are 100% off grid, so we're dependent on our batteries. We're putting in a fan to allow us to cool our BMS because it gets very warm and we had to put where those um we had to put um what is it? heat sinks on them. Okay they get very very hot. So we're going to also put a fan to help and we're going to power it using um, an old Nella C12 volt battery, one 300 watt panel on the roof and our trusty old charge controller to run this fan that's going to cool that. So I'll keep you posted. Um, this has been trying to balance for like a day or two. Hopefully by the end of the day, today or tomorrow, we'll be fully balanced. It's actually doing an equalization and it's taking quite a, a long time. It's doing, using 200 milliamps, which is relatively small. So I look forward to showing you the results and then running the house of the Nissan Leaf batteries. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Yeah, if you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please post them below. Okay, so let me take you guys inside and show you what we've been doing uh, since the last video I did and update you.